Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The Michigan basketball season ends in an embarrassing way. Michigan basketball blew away an eight-point lead with less than two minutes remaining and found ways to lose that didn't seem possible. If you haven't seen a basketball fight in Michigan in almost 40 minutes, you would assume that the Wolverines looking to lose after the way they played the last two minutes. With two minutes remaining, Hunter Dickinson, an All-The-American, former Big Ten Freshman of the Year and All-Big Ten pick, leads Mr. Layup from close range. This set off a series of events you might not believe, except we've seen this team lead with three possessions this season, like a des nothing Michigan fouled a Vanderbilt player who drove to the basket and gave the Commodores a chance at a three-point game. It was exactly the same when Hunter Dickinson threw a pass to Williams that mishandled him. Vanderbilt got the ball, and Dickinson was called to the goalkeeper for grabbing the net instead of blocking a shot cleanly. Michigan gave Vanderbilt five points for three separate violations. Um had a shot attempt in the closing seconds, but it didn't he fall and a team that seemed destined to make a nit run, saw their season end with a shocking 66-65 loss, that wasn't he too shocking. Dickinson scored 24 points and grabbed 11 rebounds. If he finished that one late to make it a 10-point game, Michigan probably wins. Joey Baker is the only player aside from McDaniel and Dickinson, to have more than two field goals, and he was 3 out of 10. His foot on the line also proved costly. Small mistakes cost Michigan basketball all season, and it cost the Wolverines a home game in the NIT quarterfinals. At least a season of the transfer portal can now start in earnest. Hopefully Michigan can convince some players to return and others to continue. Changes need to be made, and the biggest change is how the Wolverines deal with the game's ending. They must figure out how to avoid buying time again.